SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got an update from AT&T, some disclosures that are going to explain some of the things that are going on with the network. We'll be covering those items out of this article. It'll be linked in the description. Also in the description, the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. If you want to keep the SMT caffeinated and motivated, use the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link and support your creators directly. Also, if you're looking for a great deal on wireless service, you could support the SMT YouTube channel and also get a great deal on wireless from our partner, Mint Mobile. Use the partner link. Appreciate that in advance. All right, so uh, some of you may be very opinionated and want to offer your comments down in the comment section. At any point in this video, do drop those comments. I'd love to see what you guys have to say on this. All right, so there are certain things that AT&T is most definitely going to be putting on the back burner. Some of those things, millimeter wave, standalone 5G networking, and fixed wireless access, which I think to the dismay of many, these are three things that we love to see as network geeks and cellular network tech enthusiasts. We kind of like these things. Anyways, it doesn't appear that AT&T is ever going to mass scale millimeter wave. I don't think that's going to happen. Although they did launch in 2018 at the same time we kind of saw Verizon and T-Mobile starting to dabble with it. Verizon kept the pedal to the metal, dedicated to that build, strategically building certain markets up with millimeter wave beyond just, you know, simply putting it in arenas and stadiums. They did do that, obviously, but they did it at a grander scale. T-Mobile hasn't really done much with it, and AT&T hasn't done much either, a little bit more, right, with respect to airports and, and things like that and stadiums and arenas. So they've, they've done it, but they've done so in a very traditional sense. In fact, AT&T's, I think one of the network executives, Mansfield, was quoted as saying, quote, we're using millimeter wave in our dense hotspot types of location. Anywhere there's a high density of subscribers that are all wanting to use high bandwidth applications, millimeter wave makes sense. Moving on away from the millimeter wave, uh, subscribers of fixed wireless access, right? We're seeing Verizon adding a lot of subscribers on a quarterly basis, you know, for the 5G home internet. And we see T-Mobile enjoying a renaissance period as well. All right. Now, with respect for AT&T doing this, they are more, much more interested in fiber. All right. They do not see the benefits of fixed wireless access in their portfolio. They see it as worst case. It's the only way to get a customer connected because they can't get fiber there. They might do it. The quote, we've got the greatest amount of fiber of anyone in the U.S., when you get into our urban and suburban areas, we believe fiber is a better broadband solution. He's not wrong. He's right. The trouble is there are places that will probably at least no time soon get fiber. So that's where the fixed wireless access comes into place. There are people looking to move on from DSL and satellite. I think that's where the opportunity lies. Uh, he spoke to T-Mobile's 5G home internet. He said, quote, they're going to struggle without access to a whole lot more spectrum than we see in the pipeline. And we've talked about this. There's only so much mid-band to go around. Don't forget that T-Mobile doesn't own and operate its own fiber. So getting 10 gig circuits and maybe beyond that is going to be a struggle. All right. So those are valid points. I think he's right on some on some of those things. All right. So so what is AT&T going to do? Uh, he refers to it as a hybrid strategy, right? Rural fixed wireless as business fixed wireless solutions, probably because the profitability is there, right? Uh, in terms of the standalone 5G, I don't think at and is really rushing to roll this out. They don't even really see the enterprise demand yet, right? So here's his quote on that. He says, when you think about standalone 5G from an enterprise perspective, that's the only use cases that are out there right now. It does not give us the reliability that our customers really, really want. Look, AT&T is much more like Verizon than anything. With respect to reliability, businesses are not looking to jeopardize reliability, dependability. They can't tolerate downtime and failure. We have seen a lot of trouble with T-Mobile trying things and experimenting and stuff backfiring and getting really messy. So Verizon has been very conservative about this. AT&T 
much more conservative than, say, for example, T-Mobile. So they're waiting on that. And because whatever they're doing right now seems to be working and the demand isn't there otherwise, they're saying, why even rush? I will tell you guys, I'm following pretty much all three of these things very closely. The fixed wireless access, the standalone 5G networking core, and millimeter wave are things that I really like in the 5G era, right? The next generation of networking relies on these things. The fact that AT&T has put them on the back burner tells me they're going to focus on the core element of their business, fiber and proper support for mobility use cases. They're not going to go into any cutting edge, bleeding edge tech and try to trailblaze, say, for example, like Verizon or T-Mobile. They're just not going to do it. They're a much more conservative company. They know what butters their bread and they're going to focus on that. And believe it or not, I think that's why they're successful. They've been able to turn the company around. That focus on fiber, they can't lose. And properly addressing the mobile market as they have for the last few years is sustainable. I don't think AT&T is doing anything wrong, but don't look for them to be any type of trailblazer. I think that's the takeaway here. What do you guys think? What do you think AT&T is doing right? What do you think they are doing wrong? Do you like the disclosures from AT&T? I think these are very open transparent and candid statements from this executive and this these have been the vibes that we've been getting as outsiders and i think this is truly what at&t is conservative execution they're not out here trying to you know trailblaze they're just going to do what works right they're going to focus on what wins they're not even taking any chances that's for sure but what do you guys think comment down in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters for making content on this channel possible. Also to everybody who's ever bought me a coffee and who will buy me a coffee in the future. You guys know I love coffee. Keep me caffeinated and motivated. Appreciate you guys for that. And then get a great deal on wireless from our uh, partner, Mint Mobile. The partner link in the description. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.